Hello everybody, this is Vin from The Better Gentleman, and today we're going to be checking out the Lenovo Smart Clock Essential. So this is actually different than the other Lenovo Smart Clock I did. This one does not have a display. Alright, so this is different than the Lenovo Smart Clock. This one is the Essential. This one is the normal one. If you guys were looking for a review of this one, I'll leave a link down below to my video for that. So I ended up getting this one because it is cheaper than the regular smart clock, obviously because this one does not have a display. And while I do like the other one, I don't really use the display that it has on it. And sometimes I kind of wish that it was like a more traditional smart clock. So I got this one. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so in the box, we got our smart clock, we got our charger, and we have our literature. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. The mic is muted. All right, guys, so I just went ahead and got this guy powered up. And real quick, I wanted to go ahead and go over some of the little buns that it has. Uh, at the top here, we have our volume control. We have a play and pause button, and then we have an alarm shortcut. And on the back of this, you actually have a USB port, so you can go ahead and use that to charge other products. And you also have this switch over here that can go ahead and mute the mic. So if you're not really into using the Google Assistant that much, you can go ahead and mute the mic from here. And that's about it. Uh, well, actually, on the bottom, you have these non-slip pads, so it doesn't move too much when it's on a table. And for the setup, it's going to basically be the same like it was for the other smart clock, and it's all going to be done through the Google Home app. All right, guys, so to go ahead and set this up, we're going to go into this top corner here. We're going to hit the little plus sign, and then we're going to go to Setup Device, and then we're going to select New Device. All right, you're going to select the Home, It's going to go ahead and search for devices. All right, so this is popping up as a Google Assistant speaker, and we're just going to hit yes. All right, it's going to ask if we heard the sound. We're going to hit yes. And then it's going to go ahead and ask for some permissions. Uh, whenever it says improve stuff, I just go ahead and hit no thanks. And now you're going to go ahead and select which room you're going to have it in. I'm going to go ahead and have it in my bedroom. And then you can customize the room name if you want. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and connect it to your Wi-Fi. So from here, you can actually go ahead and either use your saved password or enter it in manually. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a little bit to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, so now it's going to go ahead and give us some disclaimers about what it does with your voice information and stuff like that. All right, now you can go ahead and train your assistant to recognize your voice. All right, so if you do agree to that, the next thing is going to ask is if you wanted to use voice match. And basically voice match is going to be able to determine whether it's you asking for a command or somebody else within your household. All right, after that, you can choose your assistant's voice. It's not as robust as like what Alexa offers, but uh, you do get to choose between these two voices. And the next step, you're gonna go ahead and choose your default music service. I have YouTube Music, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And you can link your radio services as well, but I don't have that. And then you can link your video services. And obviously this one doesn't have a display, but you can go ahead and uh, log into all of these different accounts to make it easier if you wanted to cast one of these services on a display. All right, it's also going to give you an option to control your Chromecast devices. I'm just going to go ahead and skip through all of these. 
and I don't want an email, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit no thanks to this. All right now it's gonna ask you for your payment information and stuff like that, but again, I don't want to do any of that. And right now you can see, it can tell that the microphone is turned off, so it's gonna ask me to turn it on. The mic's back on. All right, we're gonna hit next. All right, now it's just gonna go ahead and let you explore some of the features. Hi. All right, and then after that, it just goes ahead and like shows you like some of the features that it has. But that's about it, that's the setup. All right, so this is gonna be our display. You can see it's very simple, very minimalistic. At the top, it tells you the day. Over here, we have our time, and down here, we have our weather. And you can see that this little indicator at the bottom will let you know what type of weather it is outside. So whether it's raining, if it's sunny, if it's cloudy, it'll tell you right here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and explore some of the features that this has. So over here, one of the things you can do is if you hold the volume down button, this has a little night light in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me turn off the light here. All right, so you can see this at the back is like a little night light. And it, to turn it on and off, all you have to do is hold the volume down button. So actually the night light on this is way better than the night light they have on the one that does have a display because that one, it just basically just keeps the display on and that's your night light. And other than that, of course, you can use the volume up and down buttons to change the volume. It goes up in four stages and you can control that a little bit more through the Google Home app. All right, guys, so real quick, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up the alarm on this. So we're just gonna hold the alarm button for about two seconds. All right, we'll go to this screen. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select which days we want this alarm to go off on. And you can choose the options by using the plus and minus button. So if you only want it on Saturday, if you only want Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, and so on, they have this option for weekends. They have this option for Monday through Friday. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick to daily. So now we're just gonna go ahead and press the play button. And now we're gonna go ahead and choose the time. So I'm just gonna leave it to 8 a.m., um, but you get the idea. So you hit the plus button, it takes you to the next section, right? And now we're up to alarm two. And for alarm two, you can go ahead and do the same thing. So if you wanted a weekend alarm, so let's do that and then you can, maybe you want it to be at 10 a.m. You can go through and select that. And then whenever you're done with all these alarms, you can just go ahead and hold down the alarm button again. And now it's set. And then you'll get this indicator in the corner here to tell you that your alarm is set. And also, while talking about indicators, if your mic is turned off, you'll see that you get this indicator here as well. So that's actually about it. It's very, very basic. And uh, something to note, uh, this won't always be in this position. It goes ahead and changes depending on what the weather is outside. Uh, you should also notice that you can see that there's no date option here. And real quick guys, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the Google Home app. So we just go ahead and select the bedroom speaker. So it's very funny that this version of the smart clock actually doesn't come up as a smart clock. It comes up as a speaker. And through this menu for the smart clock, you can go ahead and cast your audio. You can adjust your equalizer settings over here. Again, very minimalistic. And then you have your settings tab over here. And you only get like very basic information over here. Uh, for example, so if you wanted to do your alarms and timers, you can't actually edit them like through the app. You can cancel them through the app, but you can't add them over here. All you can do is select the volume for the alarm and the timer. So you can see that the app itself is uh, well, quite lackluster. And if you wanted to go ahead and control some of the features on here, like setting up individual alarms and stuff, you would go ahead and like access all those features by using the assistant itself, by saying your voice command, 
and it'll go ahead and add an alarm or remove an alarm. If you have some more specific things that you want it to do, like set up timers, if you want to know your commute information, all of that, this will be able to tell you all of that. Again, without the display, it'll just go ahead and be using the speaker for this. All right, and real quick, I want to show you guys how to go ahead and cast your audio. So you have two different options here. You can either either like cast the audio from a specific app, or if you go through the Google Home app over here, and if you tap cast my audio here, this will cast the audio from your entire device. So not just one specific app. Like if you're like listening to music and if you switch to video, if you are watching YouTube and then you go ahead and like switch to YouTube music or, you know, whatever Spotify, whatever is on your phone is basically going to be casting the audio to the clock over here. So that's option number one. All right. And for option number two, you can go ahead and go into a specific app like YouTube music. Uh, doesn't work for regular YouTube, but if you go to YouTube music, you can go over here and you can cast it to the speaker over here. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and say you wanted to watch a video and you wanted the sound to come out of your bedroom clock over here. All you have to do is go to your Google Home app and you can see over here, you get this option at the bottom to cast my audio. And again, so this will cast the audio from your entire device. Doesn't matter like what you're watching. So if you're on like Facebook, if you're on Instagram, if you're on TikTok, if you're on YouTube, all of that audio will go ahead and cast to here. So a little bit different than how casting normally works. This is just going to be casting the audio from your entire device. So I'm just going to go back here to YouTube and we're going to go ahead and play my last video. And you can see the audio is coming from this bedroom clock. And guys, that's actually about it. Again, it's a very simple clock. And at its core, that's really what it is. This is an alarm clock that has a Google speaker built in, as well as a little nightlight and charging port over here. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I myself was expecting like a little bit more information. Like one thing that I really think in future iterations that they should do is at least at bare minimum, they should at least have the date up here. But overall, it is what it is. And honestly, for its price point, I mean, I think it gets a lot done. So this is typically around 25 bucks. It is $15 cheaper than the smart clock with the display. And if you were looking for something very minimalistic and very simple to have like on your bedside table, I think this is a really good option, especially if you're not going to be using the display. Because again, I really wasn't using the display on my smart clock, which is why I went ahead and got this. Again, for example, on that smart clock, you still can't watch videos or anything like that. And you can only cast your audio similar to like all of the things that this can do. And I would say that this can do about 90% of the features. It just doesn't have the built in display. So you, it's not touchscreen or anything like that. And it won't be able to show you like whenever your meetings or calendar appointments are coming up but it will be able to tell you all of that information. So once again, if you're not going to use the display, this is a very solid option. Again, really the only thing that it's missing for me uh, is that it doesn't have the date on here. I just wish it had the date. And to be honest, that's the only thing I would change. I knew this was going to be a minimalistic clock, which is why I got it. And honestly, the watch face is a lot easier to read than it is on the Lenovo smart clock. Uh, for that one, like the weather and stuff is a bit smaller, so it can be kind of hard to read sometimes. Whereas on this, it's very obvious and like it's very easy to read. All right, guys, so my final grade for this is going to be an A. I think this is a very helpful product, especially now that everybody's getting into the whole smart home thing. And if you're on a budget, these things over here, they pack a lot of bang for your buck. Like I said, this can do about 90% of the things the other smart clock can. And I'll try to go ahead and do a video comparison uh, between both of these so you can kind of like get an idea of which one is right for you. But if you don't care for the display, this is a really great alternative to your standard bedside alarm clock. All right guys, so that's actually about it for me today. If you guys got any questions about the smart clock, please leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time.